hello everyone and welcome back so recently one of my blog reader asked me if there is a way we can extract a zip file and load it into the power bi directly use programmatically so there is no straightforward method but we will have to use uh, custom m functions for that uh, there is a nice little script uh, created by the uh, mark mark white i will drop in his uh, uh, blog details into the description below uh, he has put in a nice little m function to unzip the contents of a zip file so in this for this demonstration we will use the uh, we will use this m function uh, and see how we can extract a zip file for the demo purpose i have a zip file called flax data that is uh, zipped which contains the flax data csv file okay let's get on to the power bi so at first we need to create the m function so for that we will have to click on the transform data and get into the power query editor right so let's create a new blank query and go to the advanced editor so let's copy paste the zip file m, m script which unzips the content from mark's website and then replace it in the query advanced editor okay if you notice here there are no syntax errors so let's click on done this will create this m function right so for, for i will rename this to unzip contents so we can refer this function in the next steps yeah there are two ways you can do, uh, ex uh, extract the zip file using this m function one is uh, di write a direct query uh using the uh, another function uh, to unzip the content so let's look at how we can do it using the query right click new query and a blank query so i have already uh, written a script for this and i'll just copy paste go into the advanced editor and paste this so this is the file i am going to extract and import into the power bi so and if you see here i am using the function that has been created earlier unzip contents right once you click done this is going to pull up the data of what it has in the path what we have given now it's as simple as clicking on the binary and the m function does its job and extracts all the data which is present within the zip file right okay so the another way to do is uh, we we can we will be using the we, we will be using the load folder for this so let this complete uh, let's give it a minute here it is loading the data from the previous query so once this is completed we'll go to uh, get data yeah. this is the contents from the previous query the query one uh, using the function so another way is click on get data and more here what we will do is we will import the folder itself and add an additional column through which we will uh, trigger the function m function so go to the folder here click on connect and then i will copy paste the folder name okay so what it does is it will import all the contents in the in this folder basically the files and its related information so let's load this once this is loaded uh, we will have to go to the power query editor so we can rename this letter we 
click on edit query and then if you see here this is this has loaded the files from the folder so now our interest is the zip file so I will select only the zip file right for the ease I will rename this to query 2 okay so now we can't extract the data directly so let's add a new column uh, by using the invoke custom function so once we have the invoke custom function let's say uh, zip file as the column name uh, zip file data and we will invoke the unzip contents so here it will ask which is the field that has the content so we know that the contents are in this column the binary uh, the column name called content let's select the column name content here and then click ok so we once this is done it has invoked the function and it has loaded the uh, extracted the data and put it as a table here once we click on the table it is going to extract the table contents that is the file details then we will click on the binary which is going to extract the actual data into this query so this is how we extract a zip file uh, using the m function so i'll drop in the reference links in the description uh, give it a try and let me know your thoughts in the comment section please subscribe to my channel thank you